Chapter 2 The Magical Book The vacation was coming to an end. The school would reopen in a week. Harish was watching TV when he heard his mother shout from the other room. Harish, are you ready? The counter closes at 12 o'clock. We have to hurry. Harish hurriedly put on his shoes and shouted back. Yes, mom, I'm ready. I'm waiting for you near the car. Harish and his mother were going to collect his new textbooks and notebooks for class 3 from the school. His friend Amit had already got his books. They were glossy and colourful. As soon as Harish got the books from the counter, he leafed through them. The pages were so crisp and neat. On the way back, mother warned him. Remember Harish, you are a big boy now. You must keep these books properly. No tearing pages to make rockets and boats. No mother, this year I will keep my books neat. I won't tear pages, I promise. Harish was good at studies. He played basketball well. But he had one bad habit. He treated his books badly. He would tear their pages, touch them with dirty hands, throw them around and often misplace them. His parents and teachers scolded him several times for this, but he did not listen. His mother hoped that at least this year he would be more careful. The school reopened and classes began. Harish proudly carried his new books to school. But just two months into the school term, all the books were looking different. The English notebook had no cover. Mathematics had many pages missing. The Hindi textbook was torn. Harish's mother got angry, seeing the pathetic shape of his books. She decided to teach him a lesson. She went to see Harish's English teacher, Mrs. Jaya, and they thought of a plan. On Monday morning, Harish was getting ready for school. Mother, did you see my English notebook? I have a test today. No, Harish. I'm sure it's somewhere there. Have you checked inside your bag and the shelf? Oh, Mom, I can't find it anywhere. Mrs. Jaya is going to scold me today. Well, it's time to leave. Your bus is here already. I'm also getting late for office, said Mother, smiling to herself. She knew Mrs. Jaya would take care of the rest. Later in the class, Mrs. Jaya asked the pupils to take out their English notebooks. She handed out the question paper and ordered them to answer the questions. While the other children were busy preparing to write, Harish sat staring ahead with tears in his eyes. Harish, where is your notebook? Why aren't you writing the answers? Ma'am, I have lost my notebook. Oh, really? I am not surprised. In fact, last night I had a dream. Many books were shouting and complaining about the cruel little children who hurt them. They have decided to hide themselves from the little villains. I think my dream is coming true. Harish, how would you like it if someone pulled your nose, hand, ears or legs? Wouldn't it hurt? Your books feel the same when you tear them. Harish thought for a few moments. His mother, father and grandparents were always angry with him for this single bad habit of his. He said crying, Ma'am, please give me one last chance. I promise I will be careful with my books. Mrs. Jaya said, Go home and check your bookshelf. I am sure your notebook would have come back there. Take today's test in your rough notebook. Remember, don't ever tear pages from your books or keep them dirty. Harish had learnt a lesson. Harish was surprised when he reached home. The English notebook 
was right there on the shelf. How did he miss it in the morning? Had Mrs. Jaya's dream come true? 